Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Bhavna. Today we are going to talk about our beloved rice. Um, I love rice and I know many of you, at least 60% of population, they love rice now. I'm going to start from what I love about rice in India. You can make biryani. Who doesn't love biryani? You can make, um, if you go more to China, they have so many recipes including rice fried rice, sticky rice, red rice, black rice. People in Italy, they have started substituting their pasta with rice. In Netherlands, I have realized that when I arrived here 10 years ago, uh, you would only find two types of rice in supermarket. And if you wanted to buy more types of rice, you would have to go to a special stores. Th those stores are called tokos here. But now I see the even the everyday supermarket it carries so many varieties of rice so many brands you have you can choose from many varieties and many brands so it brings me a joy that now i can cook the food i like but at the same time uh, in 2018 the study was conducted both in india and uk and they found out that the main problem of eating rice is that it carries a lot of inorganic arsenic which is considered class one carcinogenic. The way rice is grown, it's grown in completely flooded puddle of water. It's anaerobic soil, so it doesn't have a lot of oxygen. And that particular condition, somehow, the arsenic is absorbed from soil by the rice crops. And hence, we have a lot more arsenic in rice than if you compare it to say wheat or barley or um, uh, millets these days or even oats so other grains are supposedly healthier in that way but rice has its own benefits because it's, it has so many nutrients there hasn't been a lot of study yet to uh, understand how much arsenic is safe for human consumption so that you don't fall trap of cancer we don't want anybody in our family sick, especially little young adults, little kids in the home. They are especially vulnerable to arsenic because it hinders their uh, psychological and neural de development. So in 2013, in West Bengal, which is a very beautiful place in uh, India, east of India, scientists did some study uh, in some families where they cooked rice the traditional way and they found out that there were more than 200 micrograms of arsenic in one kg of rice cooked rice which is not very safe if you consume it three times a day some in some families rice is consumed at lunch at breakfast at dinner of course yeah if you're ser being served mm, simple white rice basmati rice the aroma and with fish curry especially doi match from west bengal you wouldn't say no I mean, nobody i know would say no it's so delicious so what do you do there are so many studies proving that if you consume too much arsenic in your food it can cause in children and adults also abdominal pain skin rashes uh, cirrhosis eczema hair fall and it can cause, which is not uh, well studied, but it can cause several types of cancers, especially in colon, renal, liver, lungs, name it. And the studies are still going on. So in 2018, there was a study by a few scientists in UK and um, India both. And they uh, found out exactly what is the method to cook rice so that you don't consume a lot of arsenic in your day-to-day -day life. Do you remember watching those shows where great chefs from MasterChef or Masterclass, they will teach you how to cook perfect basmati rice. If you have one cup, a cup of rice, add two cups of cooked water, cook it, boil it, cover it, 15 minutes later, your rice is ready. That's a perfect way to cook rice. It gives you really fluffy rice. We love it. But the problem with that recipe is 
it doesn't get rid of the arsenic and the only way to get rid of arsenic up to 97% of arsenic is to cook it in a different way so this recipe also gives delicious rice it's just that you have to put a bit of effort just to be safe to make our rice much more healthier and safer so that we don't consume a lot of arsenic I'm going to cook one cup of basmati rice I'm going to wash it thoroughly three times uh, so in many recipes you soak rice overnight to make it soft and digestible to ferment it there are thousands of recipes out there especially for dosas but do you know even if you soak your rice overnight and you wash it three to four times it doesn't get rid of arsenic in the rice because arsenic is completely woven inside the rice and soaking and cleaning just washing is not not enough so this rice is washed I don't have to soak it there's enough water for it to soften for a while until I boil my water for one cup of rice I'm going to need five cups of water this is one cup five I'm going to cook one cup extra for later okay let's cook rice so as you saw earlier I boiled six cups of water I'm going to save one cup for later and I'm going to pour remaining five cups here I'll stir it a bit so that it doesn't stick to the bottom just once that's it and I'm going to let it boil for five minutes as you can see I'm boiling one cup of basmati rice with five cups of cooked boiled water the rice cooked this way can be used for any recipes you want so you can use it for your biryanis you can use it for your khichri you can use it for your Pula, you can use it for sushi or any other recipe so we have tried this method with different types of rice so I tried it with uh, pandan rice which is uh, jasmine rice we have tried it with idli rice we have tried it with red rice black rice so black rice or brown rice they take 30 minutes to cook this is what you have to do as the first step of cooking for five minutes you have to boil one cup of rice any rice for five minutes in five cups of water you discard the water you boil the same rice one cup of rice in one more cup of hot water at low temperature if it's basmati you add one cup of water if it's brown rice you add two cups of water if it's black rice you add two cups of water and cook it at, cook it at low temperature for the time which they have described we are going to strain this rice now so this is the setup I'm using I have a pan and a strainer I'm going to strain this rice after we have strained our rice do you remember we saved one cup of cooked water earlier so we are going to pour that one cup of cooked water in the pan transfer the strained half cooked rice in the pan stir it for a bit and then put it back on the stove so bring back the heat to medium for me it's four cover it and cook it for five more minutes so after you have cooked your rice keep it covered so like this for next 10 minutes and then it's ready to eat one might think why not cook the rice all the way through it's until it's fully cooked in five times more water why take the stress or the time to strain it after five minutes and then transfer more water in it to cook further so the data which were collected in 2013 and 2018 by, by scientists it shows that if you cook in five times more water for five minutes it 
just clean, it just removes the arsenic from the cooked product, which is cooked rice but it doesn't remove or it doesn't diminish the nutritional value of cooked rice. You can see the rice is not sticky, grains are separated.